Uh, at times, you it becomes tiring, but uh, I mean, I'm having such a good time. Uh, you know, it's also tiring when you go on vacation. When you come back, you need a vacation. <laughs> you know, so I think it's wonderful. You know, to to at my age to be able to do this and do it well. You know, I think it's a great feeling. And I mean, just on so many levels, it must be tiring. But but even just physically, I mean, you, do you, what do you do to to make sure that you can deliver night after night? Um, I just love what I do, and and when I see you know thousands of people out there waiting for me to perform, it, you know, I just get electric. And then the whole place becomes electric. You know, it's, it's a matter of, of just building up your energy, you know, uh, half an hour before you go on. And no matter how tired you are, you always have that extra, you know, uh, energy that you can just, you know. Get. I'm not only doing the tour, I'm also making a symphonic record this year, and I'm writing a, a, a musical based on the Matterhorn that will come on in 2018, but musicals take a long time to write, you know, so, so it's not just, you know, the touring, it's everything else, too. And then you have a life, too, you have a family, you have, you know, kids and grandkids, and my mother's still around, and and friends all over the place. So, yeah, I mean, my life is, uh, you know, there's not enough time in the day. It's a good problem to have, I'm it's sure. It's a great problem to have, definitely. <laughs> and um, and add to the mix, I suppose, uh, a lot of interviews, a lot of requests yes. to, 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 to hear from you and to, yes. to hear of your plans. Yes, definitely. I mean, I'm here at GBC today doing a lot of uh, BBC uh, interviews for, for my tour and for the record that I'm doing this year. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's great. It's it's really good, you know. I'm proud. I'm proud. It's wonderful to be here and for you guys to give me the space to be able to do all this, you know. And um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, Friday when I leave again and uh, I don't stop till the end of December. Concerts are selling well. I mean, yes. sold out in in Germany and in many places. Yeah, Ireland sold out. Uh, um, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, South Africa was unbelievable. In uh, ten thousand in one concert, five thousand in another. Different halls, you know. So, but all concerts were sold out, you know. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't been to Japan since uh, the uh, early seventies, so. It was just incredible. I mean, I started to sing all these songs, including The Carpenters, I Need to Be In Love, which was huge over there. Or uh, My uh, um, uh, uh, It Never Rains was like in, un, huge in, in Japan. And For the Peace of All Mankind was is like, a, like an anthem in Japan. And uh, it was just, when I sang those songs, the Japanese, they had tears in their eyes, the men and the women. I mean, you could see them and you go, what a feeling, you know. Mm, amazing. And, and just, I mean, your songs are so well known now that um, everywhere you go, you must have whole crowds singing them back to you. They sing from the beginning till the end. I could actually not go and have the band go and the people would just sing, you know. I mean, it's just a great feeling. I mean, the wonderful thing about what I'm doing is to see how many people you can make happy, you know, and uh, I mean, apart from all the millions or hundreds of millions of records that one sold, the, the seeing those faces, you know, of the crowd and they're singing and they're happy and, you know, there, there's everything from 20 year olds to 80 year olds and they, they come to the front at the end of the show and they're waving their arms and the 20 year olds stay like this, you know, but the 80 year olds, they start like this but end up like this, you know, <laughs> so, and it's just wonderful to see them and then when you're signing autographs, they tell you, uh, oh gosh, you've given, you've made me young again, I'm going home so happy, you know, you're giving me youth, you know, and it's just great, you know. The power of music. The power of music, you know. I think it, it, music heals, you know. You, you know our friends with Louis Walsh of X Factor fame yes. and also with the Westlife guys? Yes, yes, yes. With many people, yeah. I was just with Louis now in, uh, in Ireland, uh, um, you know, and uh, he asked me for some songs because he says, I'm going to bring back Westlife, you know. <laughs> so can you write some songs for me, you know. Uh, I mean, who knows, you know. I mean, I... 
I got a lot to do, but I mean, maybe a song comes up as I'm doing this, or maybe one of the things for the musical becomes such a great song that I play it for him, and he said, oh, this is great, which will make the musical already mm -hmm. a success if something like that happens. So you look for these things, you know, or they come to you like this. You know? mm -hmm. I didn't know I was going to see Louis, you know. I mean, I've known Louis for a few years, but uh, I haven't seen him for many years, you know, and, and suddenly I, he, he walks into my dressing room. Albert! <laughs> it's Louie. <laughs>